Simple question for you, do atoms last forever? Well, actually, it turns out that on the periodic table, some atoms, especially if they're very stable, can effectively last forever, meaning they can last through geologic time periods into millions or even billions of years. And so I'd like to talk about that. Do they really last forever? And why do some atoms decay at all? So the very first element on the periodic table is hydrogen. It has typically a single proton in the nucleus and a single electron orbiting the nucleus. In that configuration, hydrogen is said to be indefinitely stable. The most common form of carbon, that's element number six right there, has six protons in the nucleus, six electrons orbiting around, and it is also extremely stable, which is a good thing because we're made of carbon. Also right next door is good old oxygen, which we also need, which is also said to be indefinitely stable in its most stable configuration. Now you've all heard of radioactivity and those are atoms on the periodic table or more appropriately isotopes on the periodic table, which are unstable and they transmute from one element to another. Now, as you walk across the periodic table, element one, element two, element three, element four, element five, six, seven, eight, and so on, what you're doing is incrementing the number of protons in the nucleus and to keep everything balanced, you're, already, you're also incrementing the number of electrons. So the atomic number, one, two, three, four, five, and so on is the number of protons in the nucleus that governs the character of the atom that you're talking about. So nitrogen and oxygen are next to each other on the periodic table and they differ because they have a different number of protons in the nucleus. But protons are not the whole story. There are also neutrons in the nucleus. And so for the case of carbon, carbon-12 is the stable form. It has six protons and six neutrons. That's stable. But if you add extra neutrons to get something called carbon-14 that has too many neutrons in the nucleus makes it unstable. And so carbon-14 actually has a half-life of something like 5,700 years. That means if you have a hunk of this stuff, after that much time has passed, half of it will have transmuted to something else. Uranium, which you've definitely heard of at the bottom of the table, has a half-life in the billions of years. Very stable, but still decays over time. So when you think about it, all the protons in the nucleus are positive. They're repelling each other. The nucleus wants to explode. The strong nuclear force holds it together, but with too many neutrons, the nucleus gets too big for the strong nuclear force, and that's why some of these isotopes decay. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.